basic marine engineering at support level air compressor air compressor on ships an air compressor is a machine capable of compressing and delivering the air at the desired pressure it is driving by a prime mover engine or an electric motor a compressor takes in atmospheric air compresses it and delivers the high pressure air to a receiver storage vessel from which it may be conveyed by a pipeline applications and uses of compressed air on ships starting of diesel engines clean and dry air 20 to 30 bars control air system 7 bars operation of hand tools and machines 7 bars pneumatic hammers life boat winch gangway lifting motor hatch cover operation pneumatically operated pumps etc charging of breathing apparatus bottles around 220 bars cleaning of parts 7 bars onboard ship compressed air is used for starting main engine and auxiliary engine operation of ships whistle and for many tools such as drill machines grinders etc types of compressors reciprocating compressor centrifugal compressor rotary screw compressor rotary vane compressor out of this reciprocating air compressor is commonly used on ship components in main air compressor on ships intake air filters interstage coolers after coolers unloader moisture drain traps receivers low pressure side or first stage high pressure side or second stage relief valve connecting rod crankshaft piston piston ring bursting disc working principle of air compressor Air compressor works on the principles of thermodynamics according to the ideal gas equation without any temperature difference with an increase in gaseous pressure its volume reduces the air compressor works on the same principle on which it produces compressed air by reducing the volume of air this reduction in volume results in an increase in air pressure without any temperature difference a reciprocating air compressor consists of a piston. The piston is connected to the low and high side of the suction line and discharge line. The crankshaft rotates which in turn rotates the piston. The downward moving piston reduces the pressure in the main cylinder. The pressure difference will open the suction valve. The piston is taken down by the rotating crankshaft and the low pressure air gets filled in the cylinder. Now the piston reciprocates upward. And this upward movement starts building up the pressure and closes the suction valve. When the air gets pressurized to its specific value, discharge valve gets opened and the pressurized air starts moving through the discharge line and gets stored in air bottle. This pressurized air in air bottle can be used to run the main as well as auxiliary engines later on. There can be single acting and a double acting reciprocating air compressor on the ship. Normally, air compressors on board ships are classified according to usage. Main air compressor. Deck air compressor. Emergency air compressor. Safety devices in air compressors on ships. Bursting discs are fitted on the cooler shells at water side. Relief valves are fitted to discharge side for every stages. Moisture drain valve unloader are fitted at each cooler side. Cooling water failure alarm. Low lube oil pressure alarm and trip. Delivery air high temperature alarm on after cooler outlet. Pressure relief. Excess pressure is released by opening the valve. It opens at 10% over working pressure. Valve lift is proportional to excess pressure buildup. Valve setting pressure can be altered by spring tension. Bursting disc. Pressure is released by bursting the disc. 
It permanently damaged. It burst at setting pressure. Setting pressure cannot be altered in place. Fusible plug. When the air temperature from compressor is high, above 105 degrees Celsius, pressure is released by melting, fusing, the metal. It cannot be used next time. Permanent damage, release all content or pressure to empty. Purpose of unloader valve, moisture drain valve, in air compressor? At starting this valve must be opened, this reduced the starting torque for the machine and clear out any accumulated moisture and oil in the system. Important things to know in air compressor. Clearance volume or bumping clearance is the space between the top of the piston and the cylinder head of an air compressor. This clearance is an important aspect of the compressors and should be as less. As practically possible to improve the volumetric efficiency of the compressor. The clearance volume should not be too less or too more. Moreover, it affects the efficiency of the machinery and thus should be checked at regular intervals of time. Volumetric efficiency. It is the ratio of the actual volume of air drawn in each suction stroke to the stoke volume. Volumetric efficiency equals actual volume of air drawn in suction stroke or stroke volume.